What's going on? Welcome to the video. 100 pull-ups every single day for an entire month. There's a few little things I just want to get over before you skip to the end and to see the results. And they are, first, what I'm trying to improve. I'm trying to improve the total amount of pull-ups I can do in one set. That's one of the key things I'm looking at to improve. Then I'm trying to improve the amount I can do in three sets total. So we're doing maximum amount of pull-ups, three minute rest, maximum amount of pull-up, three minute rest, maximum amount of pull-ups. So that's something I'm gonna be recording every single day. To me, the 100 pull-ups thing isn't as important as recording those numbers. I'll The rest of the pull-ups for that day, I will just do periodically throughout the day, but they're the two key metrics we're looking to improve. Now, for me personally, I wasn't actually too worried about how much overall muscle mass I was gaining. There's probably more efficient ways to gain more muscle, but nevertheless, I was actually still really shocked with the kind of results you guys are gonna see in the following video. So enjoy smash the like button, all that good stuff. Leave a comment, tell me what you think of the results and let's get into it. So getting in here, these are my starting images, my before pictures. I had biceps measured at 34 centimeters and my chest was about 104 centimeters that will do my back and my chest. That's my starting position. Gonna go forward from here, so let's go. So we're getting straight into day one here. We can see that my first set, I got 11 reps, then I had three minute rests, then I got six reps in the second set and then four reps in the third set. So they all had all the three sets. They had a three minute rest in between. And then the rest of the day, I just smashed out three to five reps. I could do five reps pretty easily if I had at least like a 20 minute rest in between. So that's what I did for the rest of the day to get the total of a hundred. I did that every day, but I'm just going to show the main first set, second set, third set in the following few weeks footage just because Otherwise, too many numbers to deal with. Going to the first week's results, we can see that things kind of dropped after the first day, which as, is as expected because I hadn't done pull-ups in quite a little while. My kind of baseline at the beginning used to be only between like maybe 9 and 12, even at my peak of doing pull-ups. So you can see that I only beat it by one in the first week, and that's to be expected just because under a lot of stress with doing a large amount of pull-ups in a short amount of time. Then we go into week two and then we started to see a little bit of an improvement. Again, nothing major, nothing as major as I would have expected, but we did hit a new record. We got 14 on day 12, which is great. And you can see that the following sets kind of numbers are kind of increasing a little bit as well, but still again, nothing too much, not an insane amount of unrealistic improvement or anything, just what I guess you can expect for doing 100 every day. So going into week three, this is where I really started to kind of kick on with the pull-ups. It, it almost felt like once that two-week period was just kind of adapting to doing them all. And then once it was a, once I'd kind of adapted, it was like it was just kind of time to rock it off and start start breaking new records. So you can see here I got 17 on day day 18, and then I also got it again on 21. So and then also you can see day 18 was probably the best because I ended up backing it up with 11, which, you know, that's pretty, pretty good. I was pretty happy with that. But as you can see, finish off with three strongly with 17 and I'm pretty happy about it. Now getting into last week, this was day 28, I believe. You can see that the results kind of stayed a little bit more consistently around like the 13 to 17 range. And that's something I'm really happy that it's kind of staying up there as well as the second sets. You can see they're also getting nice and consistent. Uh, I wasn't too much too sure how much I would have actually gained in this two weeks, but I did not believe I'd be hitting 19 by day 28. Like that's a pretty short time period to see that kind of improvement, but it's just like that mass adaptation or something like that. And it just kind of took a hold. So seeing as I got 19 on day 28, it was without a doubt that my goal was definitely 20 moving forward to the last few days. Now you can see here, these is the consecutive days after and a few times I failed at about 19. <laughs> There's me jamming my legs. It definitely doesn't count, 19 and a half. And again, the next consecutive day, it happened again on day 30. It almost like worked too well and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't get my guess, full chin over it, but skip to day 32 and 
I'll let you guys just enjoy this one because it means a lot to me. If I don't get 20 on day 32, I'm going to cry. But I think we're going to get it today. I didn't finish the rest of my 100 yesterday, so hopefully that means I'm rested enough and I'll be ready to go. 20, here we go. Uh. I love the way you walk, love the way you talk Love the way you illuminate my heart Shorty so beautiful, make a brother wanna start But before we get into that, I'ma take it to the start Couple days back, other girl broke my heart Spent a year of my life, not letting it fall apart Then it did, feel like I don't know what I'ma do Then I walked in the store I'm taking that Taking oh, 20, let's go Woo! I'm so happy right now. <laughs> so this is me just kind of flexing just after I finished my first set on day 32. And here we're going to have a quick look at the comparison at day 1 to day 32. You can see I went from 11 in the first set, 6 in the second set, 4 in the third set, to an improvement of 20 in the first set, 12 in the second set, and 10 in the third set. So some pretty awesome results there. Now we're gonna have a look at the, the complete no pump before and after pictures and dissect and see what kind of improvements I received there. All right, so this is the video I took on day one, trying and attempting to do a bit of a lat spread, just kind of flexing my back. Here is day 32. No, this is morning of day 31, so. This is before I worked out. All of them were pre-pump, pre so there's no pump in any of them. I think they look pretty similar. I tried to keep the lighting as consistent as possible, but you guys can be the judge of the results. Now I'm going to turn around and do a front double buy. I could definitely feel the muscles a lot harder. Like I could tense them better, I think, like the mind-muscle connection, as well as just them looking a little bit bigger. I think the front double buys, you can tell quite easily that the buys look a little bit bigger. Even the back looks a little bit bigger from there, even though I'm not flexing it, just the kind of width. And then this one, this one might be a little bit misleading because I flex a little bit differently. See how my arms are open in, in the final result a little bit more than before. So I feel like the lats are a lot wider there, but they also might be pretty similar. You know, I'm not expecting crazy transformation, but you can see in the shadows, just, I don't know, I could definitely feel in myself that they were just like a rock. I don't know. I was pretty stoked. So here I'm just trying to measure my final results and I was doing my... My bicep, my biceps went up, both of them went up about a centimeter. My right bicep went from 34 to 35.3, so that was pretty nice to see. And then my terrible measuring of my chest and kind of lats was, it was about half a centimeter in growth. I didn't do any chest work at all throughout the month because I didn't want to conflict them. But as you can see from this kind of just little side pose here, like I felt, they felt like rocks, my lats. Uh, but if you have a look here at the sides, just from this angle, like you can really tell that the definitions kind of picked up as well as just, they look a lot stronger and they definitely felt a lot stronger as well. So yeah, that's where we ended up. I hit 20 on the 32nd day. I hit 19 and a half, like three days in a row, which was so frustrating, but I'm just super, super stoked with that improvement. Like these improvements here, I've just, can't believe. I, th I thought I would get a little bit more improvement for the amount I could do in consecutive sets, but it seemed to stay kind of consistent with since my performance before doing the 30 days challenge. So it is what it is. I'm pretty happy with it. I couldn't believe that like before just that feeling of trying to get up was so difficult by like maybe seven or eight. Now that's it. 17 or 18. I'm sure my form wasn't perfect. I was probably using a little bit of momentum at the end there for the last few reps, but I did try to completely lock out of the pull-up for all of them. One other little bit of improvement that I didn't add was my chin-ups also improved dramatically. I didn't do a before video of my chin-ups, but in the after video, I managed to hit 15, which was super amazing for me because it was similar. Like my friends would actually beat me at chin-ups in the gym. Like I would maybe get like six to eight and now I'm getting 15 so really amazing just improvement with bicep strength and I guess back strength as well but that's all for me now I am gonna get out of here I appreciate you watching the video you guys let me know down below what you guys thought of it also put in if you want to see me do anything I've got two coming up in the future I've got to do an abs one for 30 days and definitely doing a push-ups for 30 days I didn't want to do them all together because I didn't want them to conflict with each other and recovery and things like that. But that's all from me. Really appreciate every single one of you that leaves a comment telling me what they thought of the video, anything that I could have improved on, or if there's something else that you want me to answer, I'll answer all the comments. So just let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Connor, out.